Hello everybody and welcome to this video. I am so excited. Can you tell by the way I shake my hand? Get excited with me. Let's do the handshakes. I've already had a few emails come in asking what exactly the free workshop, free writing workshop next week is going to be. Because I did this video on um, have you ever wanted to create? I got a lot of really positive feedback from that. Um, but I had some people email me asking me like very specific questions. And so what I wanted to do here is talk to you exactly about what the free course, um, the free workshop Monday through Friday of next week is going to entail just so you have an idea of what to expect. First off, a lot of the things we're going to be talking about, again, is getting to know you. Not me getting to know you, but you getting to know you. Um, that is probably the most important thing, whether you're writing poetry, whether you're writing screenplays, whether you're writing flash fiction, whether you're writing short stories or novels. You have to know yourself inside and out so you can express how a character um, feels with like internal conflict and how they react to external conflict. When you are writing poetry, you have to be able to use your similes and metaphors to convey emotion and things of this nature. But it's hard to do that if you don't know how to do that to yourself like if you don't know inside you so um one of the first things we're going to be kind of going over is the idea of talent and how um a lot of society puts this weird like um importance on talent and education whereas Every single person in the world, okay, no matter who you are, have some sort of feelings, have some sort of connection to their inner self, and has a way to take that and see the world through their eyes and have it shaped in how they feel about everything. And so that doesn't take talent. That is being human. That is being a living, breathing fucking thing, which is why when you understand that, it is so easy for you to make your written words into living, breathing things. Why it's so easy if you're a painter, if you are sculpting, to be able to make those things living and breathing things because you understand the relationship between the inside of you and the outside world. So we're going to really tackle talent and how you actually do not need to have any talent whatsoever to be able to write or create art of any kind. We're also going to talk about how to become a creator, how to become a mad scientist, how to become this thing that takes things and makes things and breathes life into all of these things that you do. Um, a lot of people might know this about me, but the, when whenever it comes up, everyone seems shocked. But I do, I make a full-time living off of my art. Like, and I have since probably 2002? I would say was probably when I started doing this full time, whether it was through music or film or um, writing, whether it's poetry, screenplays, short stories, novels, serials. Um, so when I'm telling you this, I'm telling you this because I have no formal education. Um, I did not get past some college you know, I do not have any of these things. So if you are worried about, oh, I can't do this because I'm not trained in doing that. I didn't go to film school. I failed music theory in college. Um, but, and I do not have an English degree of any kind, but I make a living 
writing. I make a living creating. I make a living making art. And you definitely can do that too. The next thing is because we all live in this fast paced world and we all have tons of shit to do. Some of us have families. Some of us have jobs that are just so fucking unforgiving that it's nearly impossible. And some of us live in big fucking cities where the cost of living is so fucking high that you fucking work to pay rent to live. Like you don't just like live, you know? So um, it's very important that, especially when you're starting, to really focus in on bite-sized art, like little things that you can do, little creations that you could do every day to start bolstering your creativity and start giving yourself the confidence to be able to do the things that you need to do. Um, and then probably um, the most asked question that I have ever had, no matter if I'm making movies, if I'm making music, if I'm writing books, if I'm writing poetry, if I'm um, working with actors, um, anything like this. The most asked question is, how do you do that? Like, how do you do that? Like, oh, I have a question for you. It might be kind of like, well, it's kind of weird, but like, but how do you do that? Okay. And we're going to spend some time going over how do you do that? Because it, it sounds so stupid and so silly and so basic. But this is the question that everybody wants the answer to. How do you do that thing? How do you do the thing? And so we're going to spend some time going over that. And then um, last but not least, we're going to be going over simplicity. And simplicity is so important in art of any kind because people have this notion that they have to overcomplicate things. Whether it is just telling somebody a story of something you did today, whether it is um, doing a painting that is on a big canvas, whether it is um, just writing a poem, you know? Like, people always feel this need to overcomplicate stuff. And um, that is one thing that you never, ever, ever need to do. And you should never feel the um, pressure that you need to do that in order to be accepted. Or you need to do that in order for people to think what you did is good. And that's usually the thing that keeps coming back when you ask somebody why they tried to do something the way they did well and like they'll say all sorts of different things but when you keep like breaking that down to the lowest common denominator the lowest common denominator is they wanted people to like it like they wanted acceptance at that point so these are all the things we're going to be going over um next week again july 11th and I think it's going to be at noon Pacific. So um, I'm going to put like a little reminder thing up on YouTube so you can take a look at that. But um, yeah, so I think that's that's pretty much all the stuff we're going to be going over. And then there's going to be Q&A and stuff like that. So if there's other questions, we could get into that. Um, and then we'll talk about what things will be available in the full class that will happen the following week. But yeah. Um, but yeah, so if you have any other questions, um, again, you could email me at IHateMattWall at gmail.com or you can just leave them in the comments below. And um, I will see you Monday for that. So take care.